Welcome along to uh, first podcast of the year. And one of the things I wanted to bring to your attention today was what we're already seeing in 2022. Now, of course, we started with a bit of a whiz and a bang. Now we're back at the red traffic light nationwide, but I do see that this year is going to be a lot different. And already with the two events that we have run, our free events that we do pretty much weekly, if you want to join one, you can just go to our website. We have noticed that a lot of people that are coming along are asking some great questions and we're actually getting some real good interactions. The other things that I've noticed is a lot of our existing client database that we've had for up to coming up 12 years now, a lot of our more experienced clients are coming out of the woodwork and going, well, the last two years, properties that I own have been going up in value by the silly buying that we've had over the last couple of years. And now I can see that the market is changing and I can see that there's going to be some more opportunities moving forward. So we've got our experienced clients coming back out into the market. And we've also got these new people engaging with us that are much more informed. They are not sheep by any stretch. They're not prepared to just take somebody's word for what a good investment is. They want to understand that for themselves, which is great. That is what we've always done. And that is what we're actually starting to see back in the market now, which is great. So I, I really see that we're in a turning point. A lot of things have changed. We we have the Reserve Bank has made some changes. The government's made a lot of changes. The triple CFA, the Consumer Credit Contracts Finance Act that has come out on the 1st of December has definitely thrown a spanner in the works for a lot of people. Unfortunately, a lot of first home buyers uh, are going to get affected by that, but it is up for review and hopefully that comes out uh, sooner rather than later to make people be able to get back into the market. One of the things that we are definitely going to see is we're going to see the interest rates on uh, mortgages increase, not to a huge extent, but I think that the Reserve Bank is definitely going to want to push that up with the way the economy is going. But due to that, one thing that a lot of people have forgot that all of these people that maybe had their original home and then bought a new home during the last couple of years, and they kept onto the old home because they thought, oh, look, that's a a good uh, investment or I want to be a DIY landlord are probably going to find themselves in a bit of maybe financial trouble. Not everybody, but some people will as interest rates go up. So due to that, if you think about it, we've had the last 10 years of interest rates in decreasing and values have increased. So why would you sell an asset that's going up in value and your costs are going down? Now this year, we're going to have the flip of that and the following year, where we're actually going to see people's holding costs increase and values aren't going to drop. I don't believe. I think values will increase, but slowly and on a normal basis, not like the silly couple of years we've had. So I think you'll probably find that a lot of people that have been holding on to those properties due to the fact that they've just been going up and their costs have been coming down, the opposite's going to happen. The, the value is going to slow and stabilize and their costs are going to go up on a weekly basis. So I think you're going to see a lot more listings come onto the market. Now, what does that mean for investors out there or people trying to get into their first home? you need to stick to a plan because you're actually going to find this change in the market possibly the best thing that's ever happened. Because if you're always chasing that increased price and next year it's even more and next year it's even more and then you have these big jumps, that doesn't help you or, or anybody. So what we want to do is train and educate clients to make sure that you're ready for when your time is right. And I think this year, is a perfect um, scenario for that. There's, there's actually, it's like everything's starting to align because you're going to have more listings and less buyers. So I think we're going to see things like the good old days where we've actually already seen this year a couple or three really good deals where the numbers worked really well actually better than I've seen for a couple of years. So I think that change is coming and you'll see delayed settlements come back. You'll see vendor motivation there 
expectation of where the prices were is going to reduce and they're going to meet the market because when you have more listings that's more competition for the vendor that means you as an investor or a home buyer have more to look at that means that you will be able to take your time you won't feel like Yes, there'll still be things like auctions, but you won't feel like you've got to fight 20 other people at the auction. You will be able to even see if the auction gets passed in and why don't I offer on it afterwards and let's see if we can negotiate to a price that works. So delayed settlements, negotiation, more listings and potentially the fact that you can physically take your time and be careful because whether you're buying a home and that's your long-term you know maybe looking to invest as well that's your long-term strategy you've got to get those numbers right at the beginning there's no point in tapping yourself out and buying the maximum amount that you can simply because that's what everybody else does that's the sheep mentality so you've got to think about what's right for you and your family and your five ten year goals and actually go where am i starting from what can i do today in this market in the next few months you will start to see all of this unfold so i think it is a great time to be getting your your ducks in a row and actually thinking about what it is that you're wanting to achieve and if you're considering investing or buying a home then absolutely you need to be thinking about this year because the opportunities are going to be there and i feel as though we're going to see deals like the good old days where you'll be able to take your time so just something that i've noticed has been happening with our clients and definitely with the new people that are attending our sessions as well so if you want to jump along as i said just go to propertyapprentice.co.nz and you'll see the events page there so hope to see you all soon